Hey y'all, what's up? We're the movie guys. Doing another rant. Yep, it's been almost a year now since we put our Twilight Sucks video up and we promised y'all part two, so we're really sorry for the long delay. We were mainly waiting for New Moon to be released and now it is and it's currently on DVD. And now with the Clubs trailer on YouTube getting millions and millions of hits and girls doing reactions and go, oh my god! We thought it was kind of the right time. Yeah, it was the perfect time for us to release out our second part of why we think Twilight is a big pile of shit. We have Twilight 1, which is released on DVD, which girls love. Now, the new release of Doom Moon and the upcoming Eclipse, it's time to throw down on some Twilight hating. And we're going to give that to you today. So, let's start with the release of New Moon. Now, New Moon was far, far, far worse than Twilight. It was. At least Twilight, I could stand sitting down and watching it with my ex. But New Moon, I went and saw it with this girl. And halfway through it, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I pulled out my PSP and just started playing some video games. Because, like, according to the movie, it's, all it is is on Bella going, <laughs> I'm a depressed little emo girl who can't stand and, being away and, from my boyfriend. And um, she starts doing like evil can evil kind of things, like riding on a motorcycle without her helmet and jumping off cliffs and stuff. She's trying to be an ex she's trying to be an adrenaline junkie. So, and then like she sees like Edward, but Edward's not there. He's just like a ghostly figure looking awkwardly on screen, like, don't do it. <sighs> It's really bad. I mean, he pops up everywhere there. No matter what she does, he's popping up there. She's going to be, like, shopping at Walmart for toilet paper, and he's going to be like, No! No, Bella! Get the two-ply! It's better for your bum! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, and then she, like, falls off her bike, and then random Jacob runs by and goes, Hold on! Let me help you. And takes his shirt off. No, no, not rip a little part of the sleeve or get a tissue out. He just has to throw his shirt off dramatically and give it to her to wipe a tiny little cut on her forehead. And he's like, Oh, I love you. I will always be here for you, Bella. And then drama happens where Edward comes back and she's like, Edward, but I don't know. I'm like Jacob. And then they two meet and then Jacob goes, Oh, I'm going to turn into a werewolf. I'm like, Oh, that's kind of badass. But no, he just goes, They look like little puppies. They're like, oh, my God. Yeah, and uh, it's really bad. Even the Dakota, can Dakota Fanning casting, when they're over in Europe, because he's trying to get the Volteri to kill him because he thinks Bella died. And that whole entire sequence to me was just really bland and boring, as which most of the movie was, which was almost made me fall asleep through. And the soundtrack. Yeah, it was really bad. It the was only like, good thing was Paramore, really. I didn't like anything else. Well, yeah, you know, you, you got some Def Cap and Cutie on there, which is also awesome, but it's just mellow, sad, depressing it's, yeah, music. It's mainly mellow indie indie drama music to get which, the mood setting for little emo kids. Which I don't mind at all, but this just drove me crazy. Yeah, yeah they do it over the edge to the point where it's almost nauseating. And the movie re just really, really does suck. It's it's worse than the first. And the only thing I give it credit to is some some of the action scenes where it kind of slowed down was kind of cool, but it's not saying much. Yeah. Now with this new trailer coming out for the Eclipse, how can they really? Even, I mean, Eclipse just, the trailer just is really ridiculous. It doesn't have it doesn't show anything of like any main story. And the only thing they show is about anything climactic is the, the girl from the first one the, like the bad girl who's yeah she comes back but she's a different person yeah but then and it's just the whole entire movie is just bell is just edward and jacob fighting over her. he's like i love you bella and then you just see jacob i love you bella i love you and kristen stewart's like oh my god i don't know who to choose if we wanted to see a romantic movie, we would see something with much better acting rather than a 19-year-old girl who is subpar with a mentally challenged kid on a bike. Yeah, and she does, and someone who doesn't bite their lip every 15 seconds. Yeah, the trailer just is, it, it's just really bland, really dumb, and the Twilight series is just overall, it's overall stupid. It's, in retrospect, it's a, it's basically Harry Potter with vampires. That's what we say in the first one. Yeah, it really, it really is. They 
I mean, it's not the same plot line, but you can see the basic concepts coming from the Harry Potter series because Twilight came out after Harry Potter, and from the huge Harry Potter craze, Stephanie Meyer tried to adapt her own little preteen world of magic and fantasy, and it just doesn't even compare to Harry and, Potter. And another thing is, um, Bella's a horrible, 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 horrible role model. If you, I know these little girls are like, I want to be just like her, when um, she she's a bitch. Yeah, she's a she's a bitch, and she's the biggest cop piece ever. And like a scene in the movie, she's uh like Jacob's like Jacob and her sitting there, and she's talking about how he she can't be with him. Toying with his six pack. Yeah, and in the middle of in the middle of being like, oh Jacob, I can't be with you. She's rubbing her hands all over a six pack, basically cock teasing the hell out of him, but saying, oh I can't be with you. Now is that a bitch or what? Yeah, it's just, it's not, it's only, it, I can understand the audience that it's going to appeal to, but it's just not our cup of tea, and if you really sat down to think about it, even the Twilight lovers, it's not that great of a story, and it's not that well developed, especially, like, the direction and everything that goes along with it. I only, the only good thing that Eclipse could, anything could come out of Eclipse is, uh, David Slade directing it. And David Slade directed 30 Days a Night and Hard Candy, both really, really good. Movies. Really good. And Hard. he's really good at directing dramatic, like, creepy scenes. So, David Slade it was perfectly picked for this. Yeah, I mean, if David Slade does a good job, it could, this could be the best Twilight movie that's coming out. It's not really saying much. But with David Slade's own twist on it, it could end up being subpar good. I mean, in our opinions, I guess. I mean, David Slade's the only thing good coming out of this movie because all the acting is very stale and bland, and it's just not that good. Well, Dakota Fanning wasn't that bad on New Moon, so... Yeah, and that's sad saying that Dakota Fanning was the best actor in the movie. It really is. I just, overall, just don't like the series. It's not appealing to me whatsoever and if y'all are Twilight fans watching this I'm sorry that's just our opinion and we we're not gonna go on your video to, of a video that says oh we love Twilight and, and talk about how bad we hate it and bash it we're not going to so rep respect our opinions this is a video for people that don't like Twilight not that do like Twilight read the title so don't go bashing our stuff because we won't bash yours. Everyone has an opinion. Just if you're a Twilight fan and you kind of agree with us or you just say, I don't agree, just kind of put in the comments what you think and we'll yeah. get that and share what we think. Yeah, we, we're, always, we're always willing to open to criticism, just not straight bashing us because that gets on our Yeah, house. guys are gay. Yeah, that, 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 y'all call us childish. We may, like, we, we said gay and stupid and retarded a lot in our videos, but come on, come on, guys, that was three years ago, and you don't have to keep, like, subjecting us to what we did back then. Respect what we have now, and just enjoy our videos. Don't straight up bash them. If you like them, you like them. You don't, you don't. There's no point of putting unnecessary comments on there. True. Um, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, Twilight Sucks Part 2. It might be Part 3 when Eclipse come out. Never know. So, I'm Mark. I'm Corey. Y'all have a good day.